So we're back again, 10 more mid-journey art styles for you to add to the end of your prompts, separated by a comma, and you get some pretty nifty images like the ones I'm about to show you. So the first style, Hypnotic Swirl Style. This was a very fun one to play with. And if I pop the futuristic car in there, you can see the way it's kind of driving out of a swirl, uh, kind of like something is happening in outer space. It'd be like the uh, probably the next Fast and Furious movie is probably going to have a scene just like this, considering how quickly things escalate from film to film. And Pikachu, he's just kind of in a liquid swirl effect. Uh, the way it adds that swirl to everything is just really interesting. A lot of the time, it's the background. Sometimes it's not. So with the Hulk here, it is kind of in the background, but it's kind of like he's made out of liquid. I like the way it's applied a style to the picture of the Hulk with that swirl around him. Moving on to the Terminator, we've kind of got a weird light effect that comes out of his sunglasses. Um, I really enjoyed uh, playing with this style. It's a very, very cool style to add to things like this and the way it sort of incorporates it with the elements. So the Terminator, very and the colors, the red and the dark, looks really cool. And of course, a woman's face, it's like her face behind a sort of swirl. It'd be something you could probably relatively easily do in Photoshop, but this is just a lot more fun to see what Mid Journey spits out. And a beautiful waterfall in nature. The swirl is in the water. And I thought that was very interesting. Uh, just a different take on what the subject is and how to apply that style to it. So you will get this impact sometimes with the images you use. And the samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji, it's chosen to put the swirl in the sky and add a style to the, to the scenes around it. I really appreciated that as well. I thought that was a pretty cool impact to this image. And Samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji for the longest time wasn't the biggest impacted image when it came to styles, but lately I've been getting some pretty good results with it. Needlepoint. So if you want something that looks like it's actually cross-stitched or sewn, Needlepoint does a great job of creating something that looks photorealistic. Look at Pikachu. It's like a Needlepoint cross-stitch style image. Uh, very convincing. It looks like someone really did just take a photo of this. And Darth Vader, the way it works the colors in, I think is also just, again, impressive. And you can just see it looks real. Moving on to the futuristic car. This one I thought worked out really well. The way it has the way of creating a glow effect while still sticking to that needlepoint style is really interesting. And moving on to the modern family home, again, we're getting that same impact, a nice flat style of imagery. Almost like uh, I always felt that needlepoint or cross stitch looked a lot like pixel art, but just in real life because of the way it's actually sort of sewn in. And Mario doesn't want to be in this video, but too bad. Here he is, needlepoint, looking pretty unhappy. And a woman's face again, the way it's used that art style and created that, very interesting. And uh, I'm actually, I don't know much about this stuff, but I'm wondering if you could actually convert these easily enough into an actual needlepoint sort of pattern for someone to create. And high key lighting, more of a lighting style than an actual art style, but the idea of having a high key light essentially added to the scene. So you can see here with the woman, she's looking up, the woman's face, I should say, got the light coming in from high, reflecting to the front of her face. Moving on to the Hulk, he's got a light above him. You can see the light around his shoulders and hair and that kind of weird electricity type look very highly lit from the top that high angle while getting dark towards the bottom a nice impact on if you're into that kind of lighting effect and of course futuristic car we've got some highlights up ahead a very reflective style and uh, just an interesting impact it's had on that particular car with the shape and the black sort of reflective body and darth vader is wet for some reason out in the rain we can see there's a light up above him and just had, it adds a nice look, a certain photographic look to the scenes when you use this particular phrase. And the Terminator, once again, it's kind of like the woman's face. There's a light up high, off to one side, shining to the front of his face, and it gets sort of darker towards, so as you go lower or away from that light. But the interesting thing I find is the fact that it is a grayscale image but with red added to it and the glowing eyes and the glowing machinery in the skull, the way it sort of just impacts some of the elements around it, that was a pretty cool little trick I think that Mid Journey did well. And the samurai sitting in front of Mount Fuji, this one is more kind of like an ambient light, but I wanted to show it because obviously if you have a different scene, something that's gonna be more well lit, it's not always gonna do a perfect job. Fish eye lens. So this is kind of like a fish eye lens type style for your camera or like that impact when you're looking through the peephole of a door. So Mario, he sees you from the outside of his door. He wants to get in. He's got his two fingers up, peace. 
Uh, a really interesting effect, and it very easily applies it to almost anything. So the woman's face, looking through the peephole of the door, a bit of light on the side, really interesting impact. Samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji, I love this. Almost like he's looking down at a camera, posing for his photo, uh, and uh, of course there was no cameras back then, but uh, just an interesting impact overall. Well, definitely not a color camera with a fisheye lens anyway. The Incredible Hulk, again, at your front door, looking to get in. Terminator again, you definitely don't want to let this guy in. Now the Hulk might be angry, but this guy will just straight up kill you. So I just love the impact it's had on these images. Symmetrical balance, I'm actually borrowing this from my framing video a little while ago. I found it was an interesting style of image where it tries to create a symmetrical image, sometimes in an asymmetrical way by changing the color, like in this one where we've got the same kind of layout, but a lighter side of the face on the right. But in other images, it's almost perfectly symmetrical. Like this one here is almost perfectly symmetrical, except we've got some light on the right more so than the left. But if you look at that image, just the uh, the overall effect, symmetrical horizontally. And if you move the center line down, it's also a little symmetrical vertically with that reflection. It really, uh, it just creates a very aesthetic image. You move on to Pikachu, we've got this very interesting effect, almost like a kaleidoscope without all the kaleidoscope uh, patterns. I thought this one was really cool. And of course, Terminator, this one is just almost straight up symmetrical, slight difference in lighting, uh, but interesting, interesting aesthetic looking image. Same with Darth Vader, nothing too special about this other than the fact that it is just symmetrical horizontally. But waterfall, we have through the center, horizontally and vertically mirrored. We've got the reflection and we've got a symmetrical waterfall. And if you even look at some of the trees, some of the leaves on the tree from left to right are identical and mirrored. So that's what I mean by really interesting effects. It's kind of like taking a photo of something. You're cutting out, cutting down one side and flipping it. Uh, very interesting and uh, cool. Cool image or overall. Pyrography is kind of like wood burnt imagery. And you can see how clearly that is in all these images. You can see the wood uh, sort of texture with the woman's face embedded into it. And the way it's done the line work and incorporate it really is really interesting. And beautiful waterfall in nature. This looks like some actual wood sort of pyrography style art. And then the Incredible Hulk, a little bit more detailed and smooth, but still has that effect. Uh, the Hulk tends to always be a little more, a little bit further away from simple and more sort of well shaded whenever I've used him. But uh, it's done a great job here as well. The Terminator, I love the way it has the actual glowing red eye. So it adds a little element of sort of uniqueness to this one in particular. But otherwise, it looks like an actual image burnt into wood, probably with like a laser engraver or something like that. The Modern Family Home. This was pretty cool. Uh, really nice piece of artwork, like something you'd see at an architecture, uh, sorry, an architect's office or something like that. And scratch art. Kind of reminds me a little bit of white on white ink on black, except it's made out of scratching. It's kind of like that art where you've got a black card and you scratch away the black ink on top to reveal what's underneath. So we've got the woman's face scratched out. Very cool looking art, that really inverted style of drawing. But uh, yeah, just really cool uh, impact. And most of the images have this kind of color scheme to it with the black and the white scratched out. The samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji. This I thought was really cool, especially the, uh, the lettering. I have no idea. I don't read uh, any sort of kanji, so I don't know if it says anything. It probably doesn't. But uh, really interesting image there too, especially how it's changed the angle to what it normally does. And the Terminator, a little bit too more like a black and white image with a slight scratch art effect. It doesn't really nail the effect, but it adds an interesting element to the image. And a futuristic car, this one I thought really cool captures the uh, sort of like that motion very well while not at, while still being just a pretty straight up black and white scratched up looking image the modern family home again something you would see in an architect's office very uh modern but kind of like a an old school version of a modern house if that makes sense from the 70s to the 80s but the effect very present in, in that image now triangular style this is interesting. It's not a set style, but it does tend to do interesting things with triangles in the images. So the Incredible Hulk, it's gone for more of a low poly style look. And not all of them do this, some of them do. Uh, to be honest, this is probably the least interesting effect that it has uh, for me uh, personally anyway, but still an interesting image overall. When you move on to the woman's face, the way it's incorporated triangles into the face, very artistic, very creative looking piece of art. And the Terminator, the triangle in the background, very synth wave, 
and even the the colors got those neon synthwave colors and you can notice there's a little triangle on the sunglasses so just those little elements added in there are very unique and Darth Vader, so he has gone for a photographic low-poly look, like he was rendered in low-poly and then brought to life into the real world. And this one, Samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji. I loved this. The Samurai standing in the usual pose and Mount Fuji's in a nice big red triangle. Very artistic use of a triangle in this image. And the futuristic card. Now, this is very interesting. It has a triangle in the background, which looks cool. But the car shape is made up of lots of little triangles as well. You can see the way the front of the car has that really steep sort of like uh, angle. And it comes down, so it's like a triangular front. The back has got the opposite with the triangle sort of coming up. And it has kind of just triangular elements. Even the triangular, triangular sort of elements in the wheels, if you kind of can understand what I'm saying. But I love the way it's added the triangle in the background. It's just a very neat sort of, in, uh, sort of element to add to an image like this. And a beautiful waterfall in nature. I love the way it's kind of just changed the exposure on one section, almost like a photograph was taken at two different times of the day and it was just introduced and overlaid on top with a triangle. So just an interesting interpretation of that phrase. And modern family home. It's just added a triangle to the build of the home. So it's really just an interesting way to take a shape. You could probably try this with uh, you know, square style or rectangular style and see if you get the same, same result. But adding these elements into images uh, really does do something to make them more interesting. And Microsoft Word Art Clip Style, or MS Word Clip Art Style. So if you want to create really crappy clip art like you see in Microsoft Word, Mid Journey is definitely the platform for you. As you can see the woman's face, it looks, actually it doesn't look too bad, but it does have that crappy clip art look to it. Darth Vader, now I will admit this is the crappiest Darth Vader I saw, I just had to share it. Some of them were actually pretty good. But I really like the idea of being able to create real basic, real ordinary and cheap looking clip art with Mid Journey. The Hulk, as you can see, this is what the style of result you get sometimes. It's actually pretty good. So I want to share that to demonstrate, but also we can go, keep going, we've got Mario. And you can see it's Mario, but it's a little bit warped out. He's got two thumbs for one. That's more of an AI artifact. But the way he kind of stretches out with his finger and his hand, it's very kind of Microsoft clip art, cheap looking. And that's what I thought was really interesting about this style. Little, you do get this cheap style a little less with this, but it does, you know, it does come through. Samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji. This is actually pretty good, uh, but basic like you would find in clip art and X-ray vision style. I really thought this was a cool effect. You see with Mickey Mouse, we can see all of his bones, his rib cage, and uh, it does a pretty good job of showing that. Although apparently there's nothing inside of his head, which uh, might explain Disney after all these years. And Pikachu. This I thought was interesting, the way it actually has something inside the head. It doesn't seem to have a jaw or anything like that, but the spine and everything, very cool, uh, sort of interesting image. And of course, a futuristic car, you can see inside the car, although it doesn't, it seems to have bones. I'm only just realizing now that it seems to have bones and not gears, but still very interesting uh, effect it has on that image. Darth Vader, you can see some of the bones and bits and pieces in there, and uh, you get the idea, looks like an X-ray. And of course, the Terminator is just, a. Uh, you can see he's got his sunglasses on, but the rest of it is the endoskeleton. This is cool the way it included elements of the endoskeleton as well as skeletal elements. And I got a bonus one this week, which is probably a little less exciting, but useful. Isolate the subject. You can see how with the Hulk, it does isolate him and puts very plain background in the background so you just are looking at the subject and you're not getting a lot of clutter and extra detail around it now with the next few images you can see what i mean the car it's just a car in a plain background isolated probably something you could easily cut out in photoshop and then steal some of the shadows if you wanted to do that as well and batman just that orange background he's isolated sitting in the middle very clean it's kind of like using white background from my last video but isolating and getting different types of backgrounds and with Mario, he's just cut out, isolated on a nice plain blue background. And Pikachu, same thing again, but on yellow. And I do like it when they incorporate shadows because one thing I do like to do in Photoshop is cut out images and apply the shadows with a multiply blend on a layer and kind of add that shadow to wherever I'm putting the character. And Mickey Mouse, isolated, but looking very decrepit and aged. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on there, but still a cool image. And those are the styles for today, guys. I hope you found them useful and interesting. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. More coming your way soon, so thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.
Have a great day.